Hey guys, so I know that it's been kind of a hot minute since I've uploaded anything, and I really apologize for that. I've been kind of busy and self-deprecating, and I really hate doing these talking vlogs, but the other kind that I've been doing, I cringe at my voice, and also it's like kind of hard to record stuff by myself, and I like totally suck at videography. But I am here in the Boise National Forest, which is actually in Cadence, uh, Idaho, two hours north of Boise, and I got caught in a rainstorm. I had a really early start this morning, and it is just about, it's just before one, just after noon, um, so that it wasn't supposed to rain, and it was just supposed to be like sunny and partially cloudy, but of course I got stuck in the rain. Um, I am on the Blue Lake Trail, there's a lake kind of behind me, behind this kind of field. Super pretty on the way down, but unfortunately, especially since it's a Sunday, and the weather is like really nice today other than the rain. There have been a lot of people here so I haven't been able to take a whole lot of pictures but I am hoping that the rain will kind of stick around for at least like a hot minute and then kind of deter people and the people that are here are hoping that it, the people that are here I'm hoping will leave soon so my plan is to just kind of stall for a little while and hope to take pictures in between the spurts of people which I kind of have been doing but yeah, super excited to be here, super hoping the rain will clear up, and even if not, I don't mind getting wet and sticking around for a little while. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give a little check-in. The walk down here is super pretty. It's just under a two-mile hike to get to the bottom. We're not completely at the bottom yet, but on the way, and it's super pretty because there are so many like wildflowers, and I absolutely love flowers. I think the key to making anything pretty is just sticking a bunch of flowers around them or around the subject or whatever. But yeah, I'll check in with you a little further down, hopefully when the rain clears up and hopefully when there are less people around, but just want to kind of give a little update as to what my plan is. Okay, so I reached the bottom of the lake and unfortunately all of the people that came down with me are now like kind of camped out and like setting up like an actual camp like sleeping bags and hammocks and whatever. But on the positive side, we can go around the lake which is kind of where I am, and I found this little tiny waterfall. It's really too small to kind of do anything with, but it's really cute and fun to kind of like sit in here and whatever. But the rain stopped, but there's still a whole bunch of thunder and lightning off in the distance, but the sun is trying to peek through over there. Um, but yeah, on the plus side though, all the people that came down, they're not going to go back up. So on the way back up, there will be like less people, and I can probably take pictures, which is really what I was hoping for. So I saw them coming down with like canoes and like boats and that kind of shit. So I was hoping they'd be here for a while. But yeah, gonna kind of explore around here a little more. The path is like super narrow and muddy. It rained so much last night and just having the on and off rain today is really making things like muddy. Um, I'm with a friend and he kind of slipped. Uh, I'm not wearing proper hiking shoes or socks because I never do. And they're a mess and my feet are wet and gross. But that happens literally every time I go out because I'm still really stubborn about my about taking care of myself and properly preparing for stuff like this. It's just for a day though, so like if I was out here for more than one day, I'd definitely prepare a lot better. <laughs> I'm just stubborn. Yeah, uh, so I'm gonna kind of go a little that way. I hope that there will be more photo opportunities, but if not, even, even if not, I still got like a few that I like and it's a really fun hike and a really nice experience, so I'm happy. So we walked like halfway around the lake and didn't really find anywhere. There weren't really, really many scenic locations or good angles or good compositions that I could really come up with. And even if I could, there were a lot of people camping out by the lake, so kind of put the downer on things. People make me so uncomfortable, not just because I'm socially awkward and I don't like being around people, but because public indecency and it's just kind of awkward because even if I'm okay with being naked, some people don't want to see me naked and some people will freak out, especially in a state like Idaho where it's super conservative and breastfeeding in public actually isn't even legal here. Out of all the 50 states, it's illegal in Idaho. But I found this kind of space which is on the walk up. Um, it's a little bit of a field with a lot of rocks, not as pretty as like the field that's further up, but just wanted to come here because I do want to get some of the water in the background. I've been really inspired by Alex Stroll lately. Um, I think he's a French photographer living in Montana, but he kind of has a 
little video documentary kind of thing talking about how he always wants to have water in his images and I never really realized how many images I have with a lot of water but I love his he has like kind of adventure photography and I love his landscapes and I really want to learn landscapes a lot better just because I've always considered myself to be a portrait photographer I love portraiture a lot but I take a lot of pictures outdoors so I think my composition definitely needs to be a little bit better so gonna try doing some of that getting better at that and working on it but yeah I think I'm going to try laying one of the rocks that are over there as it starts to get windier and as people are starting to come because of course they come they just follow you everywhere but that's kind of my game plan and then work my way up and take more pictures up definitely it's starting to get windier and rainier and more thundery so gotta work quick so we get the tripod set up and I go and take a few test shots and then I take my clothes off and we take literally two pictures and then there's a crack of thunder and it immediately starts hailing like hard hailing and I don't mean like rain that just like hurt I mean like actual hail and we're at the very bottom and we just have to like I put my clothes on super quickly I put like my raincoat on but the no shirt underneath because Ain't nobody got time for that, apparently. And we start sprinting up. And there are, like, people starting to come up as well. And we all take, like, shelter in the trees, like, halfway. Or, like, not halfway, but, like, at marker. Kind of markers. Just whenever there's a big tree, just kind of, like, shield and catch our breath. It's fucking brutal. It's awful. Like, I feel like something bad always happens. Like, bad luck follows me everywhere. Like, there's super mistakes, such as... Earlier today, I got too close to the water's edge, and I, I sank in, like, almost to my knees in the fucking mud, which was disgusting, because I'm not wearing socks, obviously, and I don't even wear my shoes properly, I wear them like fucking slippers. But then stuff like this happens, and no one, like, the forecast didn't say anything about this, and it was beautiful this morning, like, we woke up at 6am to get this car, and we started driving up here at 8am, and it was beautiful the whole way up and the whole way down, except for like a few like little showers. But even some guy said that he grew up in like the Idaho mountains saying that you can't prepare for stuff like this. But it still really sucks. People like Alex Stroll or like Elia Licardi or Peter McKinnon, when they go places, they all say they spend like three to five plus days in an area or they go back multiple times. But like it's expensive to do that. This car just for today was like just under or just around a hundred dollars. We're splitting the cost, so it's like fine. But like, I'm in Massachusetts, and as a 21 year old, I can't really like fly out to Idaho as I please. Like, I'm in a very lucky circumstance where like because I model, I can go to I can fly to Salt Lake City, which is cheaper. Spend a few days modeling there, get some money, bus to Idaho. I'm lucky enough to know people that live in Idaho that I can stay with spend a day rent a car to come up here and then I'm staying here longer so we're going a few other places but like it's not like easy to get here it's really not like I don't know maybe if I had like a real job it'd be a lot easier because you can save and properly plan but stuff like this this is like my one day <laughs> and we're kind of unsure of what to do right now because it was like a really, like we drove up the mountain to get up here, or I drove rather up the mountain to get up here, and I'm so terrified of draw, driving on not paved roads, like this is a road but it's like that like gravel road and it's covered in hail and water now and it's terrifying, like I got stuck on a road like this and I like my car got flooded I totaled my first car on a road like this because I got stuck and it started raining and like it flooded and I'm terrified and I don't really know what to do now because it's like should we stay here and should we wait it out oh, I don't think it's hailing anymore yeah I don't hear it so that's good at least but it's like we're both soaked and we don't have like a tower like water or uh, extra, we have water. <laughs> My book. We don't have like a tower, like extra change of clothes. So it's like, do we like, just like stay here and like wait, turn the car on the heat and like wait to dry off or go down in like this terrible condition? So it's like. Well, it's not going to change really. Yeah, I know. It's okay. I'm just frustrated. It's always an adventure. <laughs> it's always a fucking adventure. Nothing can ever go smoothly. I swear. I'm like one just giant bad omen. I really, I hope that it calms down a little bit 
enough to kind of I hope that we can go back out a lot of people were leaving I'm I'm a pretty stubborn person so I'm totally willing but like I don't want to subject anyone to this kind of stuff in these conditions because these conditions are pretty dangerous luckily it is like a pretty like populated trail so even though people are leaving there's still people like at the top at the bottom camping and probably some stragglers along the way too honestly um and even so like there were like little like there are more people on like the drive up down whatever so could be a lot worse it could always be a lot worse. The good part about this is that there is always a story that you can tell as a result of it. Um, I don't know. I like live for telling stories. Like I love being able to like tell stories and like do things. And it's this kind of stuff that always like gives you the best stories, even if it's kind of a shitty outcome. On the plus side though, um, the clouds are so low to the ground and it's so pretty. And I got like two pictures of it where they're like where like it's close they're close to the ground like covering the mountains like up by the like by the down by the lake that we were at so on the plus side that's really pretty <laughs> and like the two pictures that i got they were really pretty but i don't know first things first gotta warm up and go plan from there well on the plus side uh the hail scared off ev everyone so I can come out and take pictures. I am soaking wet, and luckily he had a extra sweater in his car. But my shirt and my rain jacket are completely soaked through. My pants are, excuse me, my pants are as well. But it stopped and the sun's coming out. So I came out, he's sleeping in the car warming up and I'm just being a stubborn asshole and coming back out here because I have to push my luck and push my limits. Um, but yeah, there's no one out here, so I have to work pretty fast, or else people may also try to come back out. But do you see all this snow? This reminds me, it's like chilly, and I'm wet, but I used to live in Maine, and it reminds me of like early spring in Maine, where it's like breezy and cold and snow everywhere. But yeah, I'm pretty glad that I came back out here, and I may try to go back down by the water one more time. I'm not sure if I'm going to go down, I'll go back all the way down, but... I do want to sit on that rock again because it was a really nice perspective and I only got two images. Um, but yeah, starting up here first because definitely don't want to test my limits too much in one day. So here's what I was trying to talk about before when I say the way down to the lake is a lot prettier than the lake itself. I really wanted to take some pictures here. The only problem is that it's too open and they're just people coming you can kind of see someone right, right there. People coming from both sides, coming from the lake, coming from the parking lot. Because even though it just hailed not even an hour ago, there are people starting to flock again because it's really nice out. And most of the snow is melted, hail melted, whatever, ice. And it's actually like nice and pretty. I went down to the lake, got some pictures. Pretty happy with them. Um, there's one or two more locations up this way towards the parking lot that I'm going to try to take to photograph at, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to because like I said, people are starting to flock again. This place is busy, dude. But can you really blame them? Like, absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, but yeah, I'm going to try taking some pictures there. Hopefully it works. And if not, at least I got a few that I do like. I'm satisfied. And Hopefully we're gonna head to a second location. We'll see how my friend is feeling. And if not, we'll just go home, but hopefully you're gonna get to one more location today. So I totally suck and I didn't update you until now and I'm in the garage of where I'm staying because I can't really film anywhere else. Um, didn't end up shooting at the other location that I wanted to only because there were so many people, like it looked like a little ant farm, and just couldn't really get away with shooting there. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to shoot there when I go back, when I kind of drive through that area again in a few weeks. Um, I feel like I've repeated myself in this video, I uh, repeated what I said in some of my other videos in this video, 
I worded that weird. Whatever. I repeat myself a lot, so I'm sorry about that. But tell me if you like these kind of rambly vloggy kind of videos more, or if you prefer the arts, the ones that I try to make like artsy where I do voiceover. I find both to be cringy in their each unique way, but tell me what you like, or if you like both of them and wanting to see kind of both. These are a lot easier to film. Um, I really have no idea what I'm doing with the other kind and I hate my voice, but I also think it's really cringy to just be holding my phone and talking to it in random areas. Just tell me what you prefer though. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed the photos that I took while I was out in Idaho in the middle of nowhere. Well, yeah. <laughs>